One of my charge controllers is off. So I checked all these wires. See, this one's working. But I checked all these wires, and if it's not in these wires, then I thought it would be in the battery bank. So I lifted up the couch to get to the battery bank. And if you haven't seen on top of my batteries, this is my eight battery bank. And I was right. This right here, the cable had pulled loose. So I'm going to have to retape it and make sure everything's secure. All right. All right. The positive terminal had come loose. I was wondering why it wasn't charging or even on. Hold on one second. All right, there we go. Jeez, Louise. Yes, much better. Now to tape it. I must not have checked the connection for this one very well. Actually, I do remember this one. I couldn't get it as tight, but now it seems a lot better, so. And then some added electrical tape. My battery threat. It's been two days, well, actually, almost three days of clouds. So my batteries were down to um, almost half. They're 56%, which is good still for three days of no sun. But if I'd have known this, then they would have been charging. I was wondering, because they usually even charge even when it's cloudy, because I have so many solar panels. So I can usually get the battery bank pretty full. Let's see if this works. There we go. There we go. Alright. Well, there's a quick overlook on my eight back battery bank all right let's see if it's working and we have power and it's charging Woo, thank god because it's about two o'clock so they should be fully charged in a couple hours and that one's working as well all right time to reattach that back to the wall Hold on one second. I got some lights on. I'm sure it's hard to see. It's hard for me to see. And then also, this is the secondary solar panel set. And it's charging right now at 1.3 amps. Let's see what these are charging at. This is at 3 amps. And this is at what is it, 1 amp. 
Okay, so these are actually two separate battery banks, but it's eight batteries and they go into a switch. Um, all right. I'll start with this set right here, which is for six volt batteries. And they are connected in parallel with on the outer part. And all this does is it doubles the um, the capacity. So they're 235, so they would be 470. So that makes this battery bank capacity 470. But it's still only six volts. But by connecting in series, here, I made one big 12 volt battery. Okay, and once again, on the outside, they're all facing the same direction. On the outside, it goes from positive to positive, negative to negative. That increases my amp hours and capacity. It uh, was 235 and that makes it um, 470 and then I connected these two making it a 12 volt battery All right and the same was done with this the um, so in other words you can take it as this was a 12 volt battery and this is a 12 volt battery it's another way of explaining it. This is a 12 volt battery. This is a 12 volt battery. And then they were connected in parallel to, um, so it didn't, um, increase. It stayed at 12 volt and you're increasing the amp hour by adding another set. So this is one big 12 volt battery at 470 amps. This is one big 12 volt battery at 400 and uh, 70 amps and then both of these in parallel to a switch and the switch is back there I don't know if you can see it see the back you can see the back of it so um, basically to do it in parallel I did positive and positive there's actually two positives and then negative to negative and these negatives, actually the positives are the only ones going to the switch because it's a, um, a three-way switch because it, it has the off position and to, because it's a cutoff switch. And then it has where I can only use one battery bank or I can use this battery bank or, yeah, it's a three-way switch because I can um, combine both battery banks. And now with the negatives, I just took them and I hooked them both straight into the inverter. Now the positives are going into the switch. That way I can choose whether I just want to use one battery bank or this battery bank or I want to combine them, which right now that's what I do is I combine them and use them all at once. But I could, if I decided to and I thought it worked better, I could use this battery bank till it got down to 70%. This one would be fully charged and then I could switch over to this battery bank and use this battery bank until it got down to 70% while this battery bank was charging. That is another smart way to do it. But right now, I just use the whole thing as one and it never really gets down that low so all right well and this is just a quick overview um, this is not a how-to if you um, want to hook up your batteries make sure you do the research and you figure out how this should be done because you know it's not safe working with electronics so please be careful and um this is basically how I did it, and it was through research. I had to do a lot of research. So, please do your research, and good luck to you. Now it's time to reinstall the door. This is, I installed this, um, this wasn't like this. I installed the, um, the door into the top panel, so that way I could have easy access, and I didn't have to go through that door, because I found it difficult to look at the wire, especially the ones back here through that small access door.
but I do have it vented. If you can see, you can see outside and I cut that vent there myself and vented the battery bank because of course it does discharge gas. So, all right. Ugh. And I just got plexiglass. I cut the, the, the um, access holes out, got plexiglass. Excuse you. And then I put this foam insulation, the stripping you can buy around the edge of the panel. And these are just self-made hinges that I bought at Home Depot. And they come separate, they're just little panels. I think they connect two pieces of things together. But anyways, I just screwed them and created a, a hinge for it. All right, and that's my access panel. And then this goes back on top of it. All right. So, since I have that like that, it's an easy peasy. Actually, I forgot this can go back down. So we're done. All right, and that's my battery bank. All right. <sighs> I've actually had this bedding here. I usually stuff it inside here. Cuz I did recover the couch, but I just find it really comfortable. Makes it softer, so I just leave it on. These are my pillowcases. Actually, I have pillowcases. I didn't feel like buying the pillows to go with these cases and then having to store them. So I have pillows there. So I just, if I ever sleep on the couch or have anybody here, then I just put the pillow cases right there, just like that, and they're good to go. And I usually sleep with that so warm and fuzzy all right but when I'm not using them they're easier to store than big pillows just fold them up put them in here there's an inset right here pull that back up ta-da and they're gone all right I'm gonna double check make sure my flashlight make sure everything's still working yep on and on all right let's see what the level is at my battery level oh much better see it was at 59 and just that little bit of uh, that little bit of time it's at 79 percent so I don't have nothing to worry about they should be fully charged by the end of the night and these are, it's 1.7 amp. This is the house batteries, the two batteries underneath here. That's what this solar set works. So I have these two working the back batteries and these, this one working the front house batteries, which run that air or actually that, um, that swamp cooler, which in Texas, it kept me really cool. I didn't even have to run the AC. And I was at my aunt, so I was plugged in, but I never used it. I just used that and it kept me cool because they work really good as long as it's not really humid. And in Texas, it didn't seem to be humid at the time. So 
Alright, 1.8 amps. Alright, let's see. Oops. <laughs> and the batteries fall on the interior at 13 point... It's fluctuating between 2 and 3 and 1. Because I have all these lights on. Alright, but it says my battery level is full. So good. Alright. Let me cut all these lights back off. It's daytime, don't need the lights. I just did it for recording purposes. Alright, and the flashlight goes back. Turn it off. Time to put up all my tools. 